इंडिया में इतना एक्ट्रेस uh, को वैसे भी बहुत कम अपॉर्चुनिटी दी जाती है टू रियली सॉर्ट ऑफ प्ले पार्ट्स वी एक्सपेक्टेड टू लुक प्रिटी एंड नाइस लाइक अ लिटिल डिजर्ट एट द एंड ऑफ अ मेन मील एंड नॉट द रियल मील मैं ज्यादा तो नहीं बोल रही ये तो चली जाएगी दिल्ली हमको तो कहीं काम करना है <laughs> इसका तो बढ़िया इंटरव्यू हो जाएगा हम फंसेंगे <laughs> काम अगर उलट पुलट है हाँ. और लोग उसकी आलोचना करते हैं हाँ. तो सही करते हैं ना ठीक है लेकिन आलोचना करने में और किसी के पीछे हाथ धो के पढ़ने में बहुत फर्क होता hmm. है वेलकम हुमा to after us with all about eve it's a pleasure to have you thank you so much and i have to say this on camera i love your shoes wow thank you <laughs> this is it but thank now you. the show is done i'm sure compliment on my sh- shoes to about catching of course chahiye, you know? of course this is what huh. we came for this segment is called love thy shoe yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but i've I, you hear this from everyone so this is not new for you but i've been a fan of you since gangs of us suppose so you are the uh, queen who has introduced the concept of consent <laughs> to everyone <laughs> with yeah. permission leni chahiye yeah so, i know that's quite strange isn't it like i don't think you plan these things but the first lines i ever uttered on the big screen were yeah permission to lena chahiye Haan. which i had no idea but it is about consent and like is se better koi way mein aap consent sikha nahi sakte usko correct correct you know correct. than that but mm. what a fab journey it's been since then to now uh, yeah. how do you feel today oh uh, tired <laughs> <laughs> very tired i think sleep is the first thing that goes i guess when you start out your journey and i've uh, grown up in delhi so you of course want to be famous and you want to be popular and you want to be successful and uh, being a delhi girl i did not know a single person in the city or or a single clue as to how i was going to go about navigating this journey but now mumbai feels like home hmm. um you know i it feels familiar it it is the place that's given me uh, my identity as an individual as a working woman uh and all these things i'm super grateful for but yes all these things do come at a cost and the cost is personal time or sleep or hmm. basic things like that but yeah. i think it's all worth it i can't crib about it touch wood hmm. bhagwan aisi problem sabko de <laughs> hmm. i know it no these yeah. are all good problems great problems to have. to have yeah first world problems are always great to have it's not i wouldn't necessarily call them first world problems because it's not like it's an like i've gotten these as a sense of like uh, it was my heritage or yeah. i was entitled to it i'm earned you are self made entirely have, in this industry yeah i i i these are these are not privileges that were handed down from generation to generation i've earned them yeah but it it still comes at a lot of cost which yeah. you don't like force you just be like ha you think ki acha actress banna to kitna easy hai so glamorous you just dress up and look good and mm. just turn up for shoot but no actually is a lot of like hard work yeah. and uh, to look that good or to perform those roles or sometimes someone says are come for our function and i'm like yeah i'd love to hmm. come and support you but for me it's a two hour production to get there yeah you know but for for a 10 minute appearance sometimes so it's a lot of like uh, time that goes and i'm often like cribbing to my team saying i need to get ready fast because yeah i have so many other things to do in a day and i feel like the whole I, we don't have that right like i don't have to I'm not expected to look a certain way to show up to. A place. And you still look like this, huh? Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Today not I bad. tried for you. <laughs> ah, so it's just for me. I've seen yeah. your other episodes. Huh? Don't try and pull that one on me. <laughs> no, but you know, it's just that um, so much work kind of goes mm. into being an actor. Yeah. There's a lot of prepping mm-hmm. for a role. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of getting out of the skin of that role. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've seen double XL. I was in Nepal actually. Ah. Uh I I was there for New Year's and um, I streamed it online. Mm-hmm. And I remember watching this really nice scene between you and Sanakshi when you're sitting on yeah. the bench and you're talking about just how women are expected to look a certain kind of way, mm-hmm. right? Conventionally like you're supposed to uh be big in a certain way but also be petite in a certain kind mm. of way and you know at every stage of your life the expectations just don't go, mm-hmm. you know? and i'm in my 30s and i've seen my body change mm-hmm. i've seen my metabolism not be the same i froze my eggs i put on some weight and wo nahi gaya hmm you know it's taking hmm. its time to go sure um how far 
is huma or have you gone in terms of just you know putting on weight or even like double xl you put on weight let's say or mm-hmm. when you have to lose weight when you have to be athletic let's say mm-hmm. in a film how far are you willing to go for a role yeah to be honest like so thank you for being so uh, wonderfully candid it's really nice and refreshing to see women uh, sort of do that um i've always been a champion of uh, women just expressing themselves and the the journey that you have and the struggles that you have to go through because it's not easy being a woman yeah uh it comes with it all sets of uh rules and regulations and baggages and uh things that we can talk about and things that we shouldn't talk about yeah uh right from our body changes to for example freezing of your eggs or whatever else you could be going through or periods for that yeah crying out loud you know which is like the most normal thing ever but yes we're often made to feel the certain things we can't talk about or address and we're often also shamed for it yeah in a very weird a uh, mass way uh, which i find very very deeply problematic um coming back to your actual question about like changing my body for a certain part i think um india mein itna uh, actresses ko waise bhi bahut kam opportunity di jati hai to really sort of play parts we expect it to look pretty hmm. and nice hmm. uh like a little dessert at the end of a main meal and not the real meal hmm. and that thankfully is changing now and not just because of me i think because a lot of like my colleagues who are out there and pushing the envelope and demanding better parts to be written for them and performing them and doing the box office numbers and doing the great uh series and shows and films that are being mounted on them and uh, kudos to everyone because that's the need of the hour we need to start telling our stories which is not from a particular lens hmm. but it's our reality hmm. uh you know and i feel like so for that sometimes as an actor it's is just i i look at it like that's my job mm. that's what i'm paid to do mm. you know i have to shave my eyebrows or i have to cut my hair or i have to put on weight or lose weight mm. it's something i do for the part mm. but i think as a society we often shame women for looking a certain way not thin enough mm. not light skinned enough mm. not petite enough uh not shy enough mm. you know and these are tags that come very easily and i feel like the more like we talk about it and we discuss it the more normal it will just seem yeah mm. also like rani mukherjee recently said in an interview she was just like only the women in bollywood age <laughs> the men are not aging only yeah only. yeah you know the I men age it. and then they are with like actors yeah, 20 we, years younger we have to keep pretending to be 19 our whole lives yeah <laughs> but how it's impossible of course it's ridiculous it's impossible. Of course it's impossible and it's unrealistic and uh, I keep saying na women are not some fruit hmm. that will age and you have to like now get a fresh stock like yeah. you know we in fact we are like wine we get better with age and yeah. we have more experiences and that's how you become better artists but why do you think there is this obsession that the man with grey hair is acceptable but only with like a younger girl no it's not like i tell you it comes from patriarchy and it comes from people in positions of power we always make stories when uh, of of the realities that we understand so if most of our for example happened in the west as well hmm. you know when most of the studio heads were privileged white men they hmm. made stories which were about privileged white men hmm. you know as uh, more blacks entered the business they started telling stories from another perspective as more gay people hmm. started working behind the camera you start hmm. representing those narratives in those stories and yeah. those characters jiski understanding aapko hoti hai bilkul so i yeah. think that's the difference so which is why i always say there should be more women behind the scenes as well hmm. because we'll start talking about our experiences hmm. because often sometimes like even now like i do a lot of female centric parts and like or films or shows that are mounted on my shoulders and and often um, you have a man writing it and there's nothing wrong with it sometimes actually they are far more perhaps empathetic or they come with an uh, um with the feeling of trying to understand or trying to uh you know tell a story which is almost genderless but even then sometimes you know uh, bias is such a creepy little thing mm. like it just sneaks up on you mm. and hence it is our responsibility also to tell them and educate them saying no you know perhaps this is not right because maybe you don't understand it yeah. and i and i always feel like it's a very interesting uh, space jitni ladkiyan uh, camera ke piche kaam karengi mm. uh, as producers as writers as uh, Uh, DOPs as editors you know i think the better our retelling of the experiences uh, mm. of our female experiences will be
Is that why you became a producer? I think yes, that is that is to, correct. To tell better stories, to tell more accurate <coughs> stories, maybe. Perhaps or perhaps just to share my own experience. Uh, perhaps sometimes also what happens. You have a lot of stories. 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 But you know, it's go back on. It's go back on. And maybe people are not making it. Like I don't think a double X would have happened if not for you know me and Sonakshi coming together to make yeah. that film happen. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's not that only we got shamed. Every actress in this country has gotten shamed for how she looks. Yeah. Because they're never happy with how you look. You're either too short or too tall or too skinny or too frizzy haired or too something or too vernacular or too something or the other. Hmm. Even men, for that matter, to be honest. But hmm. I feel like the idea is there for talk about your experiences because yeah. uh, if you don't talk about it, how will people realize that this is unhealthy behavior? Yeah. अरे यू कैन बी एवरी थिंग लुकिंग ऑल्सो बिचारी दीपिका पाडुकोन का ट्रोल सो बैड जस्ट वो सींग दैट शी वॉज डेटिंग पीपल विच इज जस्ट नॉर्मल क्या बोल सकते हैं मतलब कुछ नहीं बोल सकते इसमें क्या है वाई इज इट नॉट ओके फॉर पीपल टू डेट पीपल Yeah, and be normal about it. Like <laughs> yeah, like uh, क्या प्रॉब्लम yeah. है No, we are supposed to, I guess, present a kind of a palatable, I guess. something that they expect yeah. me i don't know what it is I, i don't think anybody knows what it is yeah. but also we are in this trolling culture sabko troll karo black pehna hai troll karo black nahi pehna hai isko bhi troll karo mm. Then, you know what i mean yeah what's the worst thing you've been trolled for i actually don't even read it oh good for I you i have no patience for it i'm so happy to hear i that. have no em- like nothing for it i'm just like why should i waste like even 15 minutes of my mm. life reading about some losers Hmm. Uh, deconstruction of uh, my life choices, like hmm. really not interested. Hmm. ये आपने फोटो मतलब तुमको नहीं पसंद है मत देखो मेरी फोटो हाँ क्या problem है unfollow कर दो no हाँ. problem कोई दिक्कत नहीं है but I feel like it, uh, like people who do that it comes from such a deep place of being unhappy वो बेचारे अपनी ज़िंदगी में खुश नहीं तो I feel bad for them कि चलो भड़ास निकल रही है कोई बात नहीं चल बोल ले खुश रह तू मतलब अभी वो खो गए हम काम movie में भी तो ये दिखाया था ना the guy who is The troll is someone who's just so upset with his own life. Yeah, that he feels the need to take really it out. I really enjoyed that film. Yeah, same. I really enjoyed that film. I saw myself in so many characters and situations, and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I really, really enjoyed that film. Mm. Really well directed, really well performed, yeah. and yeah. But yeah, trolls are like that. Mm. Mm. Unhappy people. Unhappy people. Mm. Uh, recently, what happened was, and the iPhone will do this to you, is like show you memories, na? Oh yeah, so yeah, many of course. Ago. And then you're like, oh, you know, shit. I was like ten years ago. Let's mm. say ten years younger. All the pictures are on iCloud. And you're like, shit. I looked different because mm. we age. Mm. Uh, the unfortunate thing for you guys as actors mm. is that you like grow up in the public eye. Mm-hmm. You know, how does it feel when you look back to like really I young Huma? I love it. The the ads Huma. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I think it's so special, right? Like I feel. Like which is why we take pictures, hmm. you know, or selfies or whatever. We hmm. take pictures because there's a memory of what you look like. Uh, so sometimes when I'm watching my old film or an ad, I'm like, ah, was it new? What was? You know, I just maybe had a fight with someone, or this had happened, or I had just come from Delhi, or I missed my flight, or something. Yeah. You remember some anecdote about your life, and I feel like it's such a beautiful way of like preserving yourself forever, like hmm. posterity. Like I don't know. Yeah. I actually quite love it. I have. I think I look amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, in fact, look better than what I looked when I was in my teens. Yeah. I thought I looked terrible. So I think. Teens, I think. Uh, I, even my twenties, I think I look better in my thirties than I did in my twenties any yeah. day, and I feel better. I think that's more important. That's a unanimous opinion, mm. by the way, that women in general yeah. in their thirties. Feel so much better about yeah, themselves. No, I genuinely, I, I can show you a picture. Could somebody please pull it out? <laughs> I look terrible in my twenties. Listen, what are you saying? Your twenties was gangs. You thought you looked terrible. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at me now. Come on. I look, look way fabulous. better. Fabulous. <laughs> There is no denying. Give me a pair of sunglasses, somebody. <laughs> you in Varun's show, yeah, in Kashmir, yeah, was uh, a sight. I know, and I love Varun Behel yeah. for like calling me and Sakib for to walk uh, uh, for that show because it was. In Srinagar, yeah. and all of us have a uh, joint Kashmiri heritage. Yeah, Varun's uh, uh, family is from there. Sakib and I—I I mean, my our mums from Kashmir. Yeah. So it was just super emotional. Yeah. And I remember I had this beautiful Varun Bhal outfit, and just before I was about to go, I was like, you know what? I just feel like walking barefoot. I don't know why it happened. To, I'm I'm getting like goose flesh as I'm talking about that experience. I was like, no, I just feel like walking barefoot because I wanted to feel the. 
the, the earth, ground, yeah. the ground. So my mother's from then, and I don't. I feel very emotional about mm. uh, Kashmir. Kashmir, and uh, and I did that, and I just remember it was beautifully lit, and the the stars were in the yeah. sky. It felt like I felt like I was in a roomy poem. Mm. I, you know, I was <laughs> like I was in it. There. I missed it. I was traveling. I wish you could have yeah, come. Yeah, otherwise great... I would have seen you sooner. Yes, but. Yeah. And done this sooner. Done this sooner. Yeah. But no problem. But we have lots of common friends, so we have lots of. This common would have happened Delhi at some friends. point. Yeah. Delhi wale. Delhi wale. Delhi ki dosti bhi thodi alag hoti hai. Correct. Delhi ki dosti is like I don't know, heartfelt, warm, comforting. Oh, Delhi dil walon ki. Ha. Hmm. I feel like in Delhi, at least growing up, I've spent most of my life hmm. uh, in Delhi, and you know, like you become friends with even the parents of your friends, and it's like a. Oh yeah, really yeah, yeah. close knit. It is right. Feeling. I think after a certain age, like you become friends with your parents in ways that you never thought when you were growing up possible. Like I have some friends, and they're equally good friends of me and my dad. So yeah. it's very strange. Yeah. yeah. Now when we hang with my friends, it's like a group activity. Mm. My siblings are also there. My parents yeah. are also there. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah, it's quite cute. But Delhi has that vibe. <laughs> But I have the same vibe here also. Me and my brother Sake, we have the same set of friends. You guys live together. We also. live together. Yes. How's that living with your brother? It's the best thing ever. If you get along with your sibling, yeah. it's actually quite comforting. Hmm. I can't live alone. I find the idea of working all day hmm. and then coming back to an empty house daunting, extremely ter- terrifying is the hmm. word. Like, and I feel like um, I don't know. Um, working in the movie business can be quite lonely. Hmm. Uh, and I don't like the idea of like coming back and like. Ruminating over a bad day, I feel like having somebody, uh, family-wise, uh, and to discuss it with, or just if not, just to discuss or just watch some silly television and laugh, hmm. uh, or have a cup of coffee, hmm. um, you know, is is just nice. There's something nice about it. Yeah. So yeah, I I don't think so till either of us, uh, either one of us decides to get married, we are staying together. I और उसको दहेज भी लेके जा सकते कोई दिक्कत नहीं है और आई कैन गो इन हिज दहेज आई डोंट माइंड कुछ भी कर सकते जो मन करेक्ट या आई लाइक हु मेड दीस रूल्स राइट लाइक यू आर सपोज्ड टू नॉट लिव विद योर सिबलिंग लाइक व्हाई आई आई लव लिविंग विद माय सिबलिंग आई थिंक इट्स सो मच फन आई थिंक यू आर अ रूल नॉट ब्रेकर इंटेंशनली बट आई थिंक जस्ट इन जनरल आल्सो नॉट द मोस्ट लाइक कन्वेंशनल या परहैप्स अनकन्वेंशनल इज इज अ वे टू डिस्क्राइब इट But I think um, just your choices. Let's see, even in the movies, mm-hmm. they've been very unconventional. But I didn't have the luxury of choice. Uh, hmm. You know, I didn't have the luxury of choice. I would have uh, loved to have been launched by a big production house or whatever. I didn't get that option. Hmm. It's not that I sat there and said, "Ki nahi, tum nahi, tumhare saath nahi." Aisa nahi tha. Hmm. I feel like when you come and uh, you know, when um, I don't like to talk about this whole struggle phase. I feel a lot of people make too much. Yeah. You know, या तो आप बात करते हो नेपोटिज्म की या बात करते हो जब मेरे पास पाँच सौ रुपये थे और मैं प्लेटफॉर्म पे सोचती उसके थी। बीच में भी होता है उसके बीच में भी यू नो एक दुनिया होती है एंड आई रिमेंबर लाइक ऑफकोर्स आई हैड माई ओन चेयर ऑफ स्ट्रगल इट्स नॉट ईजी यू हैव टू गो फ्रॉम स्टूडियो टू स्टूडियो यू गेट रिजेक्टेड यू गेट स्कोर आउट ऑफ फिल्म इट हैपन्स टू एवरीबडी इट हैपन्स इवन टू पुअर लाइक फिल्म फैमिली किड्स सो इट्स नॉट लाइक दे वी आर सिंगल आउट फॉर एनी रीजन बट हैविंग सेट दैट आई फील You as an actor, uh, you make the best out of what is gets offered to you, yeah. and that's what I've done. And perhaps they've been radical choices because I've never been apologetic about anything I've done, even if I've made a mistake. अच्छा गलती होगी कोई बात नहीं it's my mistake. Mm. You know, I think that's the difference in perhaps attitude mm. uh, more than anything else. I know a lot of people who do some films and they feel. I don't know almost apologetic about it ki are humko to wo karna tha I'm like nahi ye karna hai aur mazey karo jo kaam upar wale ne diya hai usko shiddat se karo acche se karo and um, I I believe in living my best life yeah and any opportunity that doesn't come to me I'm like unka they're lost hmm. imagine they may start on working with me <laughs> maybe the badass he roles choose <clears throat> you like look you've played a badass in quite a few of your roles maharani to chalo tops it all yeah but Let's say even शुरुआत में a movie like Gangs, yeah. your role, you know, in yeah. Gangs, hmm. Dade Ishkia, hmm. you know, uh, it's been like maybe perhaps the badassy roles choose you. Yeah, or maybe the the vanilla parts and I made them badass. I don't know. Entirely. Possible. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to give a lot of credit for all the amazing writers, directors, producers I've worked with. Hmm. They've really like. Um, 
empowered me. Hmm. Uh, you know, each and every one of them in their own way. Hmm. Uh, because it made me feel that the way I could play that part, only I yeah. could do it. Yeah. And you know, when you're when you're an actor, you're in such a vulnerable space in front of the camera. Um, you're very open to suggestion. You're very open to criticism. Hmm. So when you work with people who actually want to nourish you, you know, and want to see you do your best, you really like uh, are not afraid of I know stupid things like look kya sochenge. You're hmm. just having fun in the moment. It's a very pure act of creation. Yeah. You know, and maybe it's my Delhi theater days or whatever it is. Like I, I really like enjoy working with people who are just having fun because you know, and because we are having so much fun, it yeah. will reach the audience. Like as recently, like a Maharani or a Monica, I had so much fun working with both. Like great film, by the way. Thank you. Both like Vasan Bala and Subhash Kapoor because I feel like they just empower you. Yeah. And then you have fun, and then you're not thinking, Ki, "Am I playing like this super villain?" Oh, I'm playing this teen bachcho ki ma. No, I'm just having fun. Yeah. You know, and because you're having so much fun, it reaches the audience. Yeah. A friend of mine who is an actress, uh. we were Jenny having a chat on the phone, hmm. and she and I were discussing about. She she told me, oh, X person was paid this much hmm. for the movie. Y person was paid this much for the movie. Z person was paid this much for the movie. And she was like, this is shocking. Of course. Now <laughs> my. A uh, question to you is that you're a producer now, right? Uh, I might become one t- tomorrow. Inshallah. What mm. is a justified way to say that X person gets this much money and Y person gets this much money? Mm. And my thought was, should it not just be based on screen time? Because if there's a picture of 120 minutes and if one person is you know, 100 minutes, mm. so this is how <coughs> much they ought to be paid. If someone is 20 minutes, so this much they should be paid. Is it not like uh, no, uh, I think normal conventional which is uh, ki the bigger the star, the more money they take home. Even if their role is smaller? Even if, I mean, not, it dep- again, yes, even if their role is smaller or whatever. Say, for example, today in Alia Bhatt, you know, she would, uh, no matter who's in the film, she would take, I mean, if, if there are other, like, for example, the Gangu Bai, she is the highest paid, I'm assuming, of yeah. course. On that film. Great song, by the Great, way. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> thank you. Uh, similarly, yes, but unfortunate thing, which is something that I also feel extremely bad about, is that uh, uh, women often are not paid as much as men. And even if you're the same level of star, because mm. there's a bias that a male actor uh, needs to be paid more because films are always revolving around. Their main story. protagonist, their story, hmm. their whatever, which is quite unfortunate. And also, not just that, even uh, a female led, like I'm a producer now, but if I have to make an action film with a male star or a female star, if they're the same level of stars as well, I will probably get a bigger budget for the male hero just because of his gender. And that's a fact. And studios um, do this. Hmm. So it's a, I think what has to happen has to be a systemic change. Hmm. It can't happen because two people give two interviews and they whatever. Of course. It has to happen at the corporate level, at the at the studio level. Because Anushka Sharma has also said in interviews that you get different types of cameras. Yes, everything is different. Everything is different. Vanity is different. Yeah. Yeah. Camera is yeah. different. Yeah. Which it's, it's is true. bizarre to me because, it's true. Uh, you know, hmm. how can you do that? Huh. It's, it's sad. It's unfortunate. Yeah. It's very, very unfortunate. And it even happens not just in the main leads, but also like the other characters, the character actors. It even happens with them. Yeah. If supposing up there, there's a couple that's supposed to play my parents, production will end up paying the guy who's playing my father a little more than the woman who's playing my mother. It doesn't matter on the number of days they what have to are show. What are you saying? Yeah, it happens. Oh, wow. This is like a very obvious intentional disparity then. I think, you know, the, the way it's looked at is because it's like this. What is this? Unko to dena padega na. Hmm. So you just like, but why? Hmm. I think it comes from my idea that women are just replaceable. Hmm. Yeah. I have never understood that, but yeah, yeah. There's a moment of silence. <laughs> there's a moment of silence. It's true because it's hit somewhere, right? Yeah. It's like women acha ye heroine to koi na koi heroine to mili jayegi na. Hero ke opposite. Hmm. Main zara to nahi bol rahi. Ye to chali jayegi Delhi. Humko to kahi kam karna hai. <laughs> 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 it's a big interview. We'll get it. 
नहीं 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 ऐसे नहीं फंसोगे आप अबे आप वहां से आ गए जहाँ किसी ने आपको बोला था कि आपकी आवाज फटे कनस्ता जैसी लगती है अब आप देखो कितनी अच्छी अच्छी बात है एक्टिंग टीचर मिस्टर एनके शर्मा बिल्कुल वैसे आवाज आपकी नहीं लगती ऐसे फटे कनस्ता आपके लिए लवली होगी मेरे तो पच्चीस काम छूट गए जो प्रोड्यूसर ये देखेंगे बोलेंगे इसको नहीं बुलाना है काम आप अपनी सीरियसली Is that close to what Huma has experienced? No, not entirely. Um, I would love for you to read the book. I, I think, will. I think you'll enjoy it. It's uh, it's it's my COVID baby, and it's uh, it's in the realm of fantasy fiction. Hmm. Where Ziba is a badly behaved girl, very spoiled, very rich. I was none of these things. Hmm. न्यूयॉर्क and in the 90s in a make believe kingdom called khudir hmm. which is like if abu dhabi and nepal had a baby it hmm. would be called khudir hmm. like you know a land locked oil rich country up in the himalayas with an evil dictator oh wow i have to read you this now you have to read it yeah. yeah and it's and it's very sassy yeah uh, you know so a lot of chapters so, and and each chapters from the perspective of different characters hmm. so some chapters are very very intense and very old school some chapters are very sassy some chapters are very disturbing because uh, one of the chap a few of the chapters are from the perspective of the evil dictator hmm. so i had to write from the perspective of a misogynist um male wo to naturally nahi aaya hoga ha to bahut maza aaya wo karne mein you know what i'm saying bahut maza aaya usme no but i'm excited to uh, read the book and as you said this was your covid baby but like you're busy now you're going for shooting again yes. after this yes after this as soon as uh, you let me go so what does huma kureishi do to unwind after hours when she's not writing sleeping hmm. reading um just watching tv what are you watching these days that's interesting oh uh, what have i started watching right now i also watch a lot of like uh oh i saw, i saw this film the snow society on hmm. netflix which i really enjoyed um and what else what is the new series i mean the best indian series i saw recently was kohra which i thought was yes. so good amazing so so good yeah and yeah i'm also now looking forward to this um i've loved arya also i thought that was also a great yeah. series i uh, really nice and i'm looking forward to this new show it's got season 3 aa raha hai maharani i think it's called <laughs> <laughs> तो वो भी मैं वेट कर रही हूँ कि जल्दी ये कुछ ट्रेलर वेलर ड्रॉप करे तो आई वांट टू वॉच दैट आई जस्ट स्पीकिंग ऑफ महारानी जस्ट कैजुअली पुटिंग इट कैजुअली आउट द कि आई वांट महारानीज ओपिनियन ओ लवली वेरी क्विकली वेरी क्विकली इन इंग्लिश और इन हाउएवर महारानी चूजेस टू डू इट एज अ क्वीन स्लैश महारानी हुज इंट्रोड्यूस द वर्ल्ड टू इवन द कांसेप्ट ऑफ कंसेंट सो जैसे आपको मन करे परमिशन जैसे बात करना है तो वैसे इंग्लिश में तो वैसे so your opinion as maharani on um, cancel culture ka bol rahi hai ye cancel ka culture ki hota hai 
बताइए समझाइए हमको <laughs> जब हिंदी में समझाइए जब आप कोई उलट सुलट काम कर दे तो फिर पूरी दुनिया आपको आके बोलती है कि इसको हटा दो यहाँ से अब ये हमारे लिए एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता अच्छा काम अगर उलट पुलट है हाँ। और लोग उसकी आलोचना करते हैं हाँ। तो सही करते हैं ना ठीक है लेकिन आलोचना करने में और किसी के पीछे हाथ धो के पढ़ने में बहुत फर्क होता है वेरी वेल सर और इसका जो क्या कहते हैं उसको फीलिंग है <laughs> या आपका अंतरात्मा आपको खुद ही बताएगा हम नहीं बता सकते करेक्ट 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 अच्छा ट्रोलिंग के बारे में महारानी जी का क्या अब वो की होता है वो जो लोगों की आलोचना करते हैं देखिए सही बातों पे सही सवाल हम्म देश में सबको पूछना चाहिए लेकिन बेफजूल में लड़की लोग को तंग करना उनके तस्वीरों पे उलट सुलट चीज देखना देखे हम ऐसे फोटो वो गलत चीज है ना ऐसे लोगों को मारना चाहिए डंडे से दिस इज समथिंग आई फील लाइक क्राइम अगेंस्ट इवन ऑनलाइन for cyber security etc as well i think it's yeah. just it's very unfair yeah absolutely how people just get to get away with so much yeah. with just zero followers and yeah yeah whatever faceless people hmm. cowards anyway andrew tate pe maharani ji ka kya opinion wo kon hai ek ganje se aadmi hai auraton ke bare mein ulad sulad baatein karte hain unko lagta hai mar jaat zyada better hai ab gadhon ko ka bol है ना गधों के साथ तो आप बात नहीं कर सकते गधे को मारेंगे भी तो घोड़ा थोड़ी बन जाएगा बिल्कुल गधा ही रहेगा गंजा गंजा रहेगा <laughs> <laughs> अच्छा और ये जो आजकल लोग मेट्रो में आते जाते गानों पे रीले बना रहे हैं उस पे महारानी जी क्या कहेंगी देखिए कुछ तो हमको भी बहुत पसंद है हाँ? कुछ तो बहुत मजेदार होती हाँ? है और लोगों का जो क्या कहते हैं उसको क्रिएटिविटी देखने को मिलता है देखने को मिलता है और हिंदुस्तान में इतना तरह का लोग है इतना टैलेंट है कर लिए बना लीजिए थोड़ा ध्यान से कीजिए मेट्रो जैसे जगह मतलब संभाल के संभाल के कीजिए बस जैसे वो गाना नहीं अभी चला था ये एक जिंदगी काफी नहीं हाँ, हम भी सुने हैं हाँ, अच्छा गाना था वो उस पर रील बना सकते हाँ उस पर बनाइए हमको भी भेजिए ट्राइक भी कीजिए हम उसको करेंगे क्या कहते हैं सैर लाइक और सब्सक्राइब पैसे मिल रहे क्या थैंक यू सो मच लवली चैटिंग विद लाइक वाइज दिस इज आई हैड सो मच फन यू नो अ पोस्ट लंच snoozy kind of feeling went away within seconds of seeing your face so yeah it was beautiful i'm like a firecracker firecracker i was going to say spice infused chocolate but firecracker i'll take firecracker. i'll settle for you're like oh i have i have something better like lightning in a bottle mm i like that i'm yeah. going to use it yeah who must like lightning in a bottle i like that <laughs> Okay, thank you Huma, so much thank you for coming thank you for having me it was lovely chatting with you likewise i will see you in delhi yes i shall see you in delhi <laughs>